we man the door at the velvet rope from the global resources of abc news with terry moran martin bashir and cynthia mcfadden in new york city this is nightline september 30 2009 Good evening. From the power of positive thinking to thousands of self-help books published each year, from making love to making money, it seems that all of us are looking for the secret to success. And tonight, you'll meet a scientist who believes that he's found the formula for maximizing your potential. He calls it the talent code and says that if you follow the rules, you'll not only reprogram your brain, You'll develop your and your child's abilities beyond your wildest expectations. So, what are the secrets, and do they work? John Donvan now investigates. Some kids just seem to have it, right? You listen to Rudy Eliza sing, she's only 14, and wow, where does this come from? And when you consider that this singing school where she's getting a little extra coaching, it's this faceless place at the end of a shopping mall beyond the edge of Dallas. And it seems pretty clear, this is innate talent, the key to success. Rudy was born with it. Maybe, but maybe not. Question, what does Jessica Simpson have in common with Demi Lovato? And what does Demi Lovato have in common with Ryan Cabrera and Ryan Cabrera with Ashley Simpson the answer is this faceless place at the edge of a shopping mall they all went here keep your tongue down ha, ha. they all got coaching from this same teacher a former opera singer named Linda Septian and consider maybe inborn talent is not the key ingredient could it be a good teacher and good old-fashioned hard work the talent is practice the talent is practice and practice is talent Dan Coyle is a writer who set out to break what he calls the talent code and in a book by that name he tries to unravel the mystery of what makes a star really his conclusion supreme talent is not born it is made because I think right now talent is sort of the last magical thing it's magic right that's the story we're told in the media it's a story we're told in the culture Tiger Woods is magic Michael Jordan is magic. Mozart was magic. But as we look closer and as we use modern tools to look at what's going on there, we're not seeing, we're seeing a different kind of magic. Coyle studied Linda Septian and her school and identifies it as one of several talent hotbeds that he's found, places that seem to produce the most talented singers, football quarterbacks, classical musicians. What was going on here? Well, let's start off with ingredient number one, practice, hours of practice. Which makes perfect evolutionary sense, really. I mean, we are built to learn. We're a learning machine. When we stress the wires of our brain, the skill circuits of our brain in a certain way, those skill circuits get stronger. And in order to make a permanent memory, you need to repeat something. All of which plays out beautifully in rat brains, which is what Dr. Doug Field studies full time. His work is really the scientific underpinning of Dan Coyle's talent code theory because of this white stuff he studies that the rats and we have in our brains, myelin. It's kind of an insulating material that wraps around the nerve pathways. Is an area of the brain containing white matter. Field discovered that this insulation actually grows each time an action is repeated. White matter continues to develop and myelin continues to form. So it wraps that wire, gives it more insulation, and the signal moves much more fast and much more accurately. Faster and more smoothly. So if you repeat the same action a lot of times, if you're, say, Tiger Woods practicing the same golf stroke over and over, the myelin gets really thick and the brain cells start firing much more in sync, and that makes all the difference. Imagine walking two miles per hour and having someone run by at 200 miles an hour. That's the difference we're talking about that myelin can make. How important is over and over and over and over? For and is, us, is, it, is, it, is it talent in the end, or is it the work? That's a very good question. Talent plays a very important part in that it makes my job easier. Um, persistent plays a bigger part. Put another way, practice makes perfect. But we knew that, right? You get it. Your placement is good. You're doing really well. And so becoming a Jessica Simpson, it's just a matter of putting in the hours? Well, no, Coyle thinks it's a lot more than that. Who the teacher is, 
is a huge part of it. And that takes us to ingredient number two, great coaching. As a coach, Linda okay, Septia notes that making five, something look effortless uh, five, actually takes four, no, breaking it down uh, okay. into a series of little parts. One, two, you have three, to do four, each part right two, two, and in the right okay. order four, every uh, time. I can make anyone sing very well. She's been doing this with Jaden Roberts, eight years old, for the past two years. Linda won't let her get past a verse until she has it down. That's what throwing this ball back and forth is teaching her right now. It has to be a habit, and it has to be repeated over and over and over. Um, then they've got to move to it. Then they've got to have a rhythm to it. Then they've got to put words to it. It's a and lot of work. It's a lot of work. It's a lot of work that applies not only to music, but to everything else, like sports. It's too flat, too fast. This is Tom Martinez. That's the problem with most quarterbacks. He is his own star-making machine. He's turned out quarterbacks like Peyton Manning and Tom Brady, among others. Anybody could say, well, I coach Peyton Manning or I coach Tom Brady, and they're going to make it in spite of whoever coached him. But I think the thing is that when you go to a camp like this, you take the worst kid and you say, give him to me for 15 minutes. Yeah. And, and then watch him mechanically. And that's what you'll see him do. You'll see him repeat himself a million times. Tom Brady in his wallet carries a small piece of paper with about six or seven Martinez-isms on them to, to, remind, to remind him exactly what those things are. It's simple, it's repetitive, but it's difficult to do. And as Coyle observed, the style of a great coach is mild, laid back, intensely watchful. There's nobody giving inspirational speeches. What there are are people giving small, really intense corrections. They're getting people into that zone, into that zone where they can deeply practice, and they're making small corrections. And that's the path to skill. That's the royal road. Getting into the zone where you are so focused on those small corrections and small steps, the rest of the world just melts away. It's not just practice. It's ingredient number three, total concentration. We're in rural New York State, the Meadowmount School. Nothing fancy to look at, but look at who studied here. Yo-Yo Ma, Joshua Bell, Yitzhak Perlman, some of the greatest classical performers in the world today. Learning this way is not easy, breaking things down into small steps. And, uh, okay. It's being interrupted. It's much more intensified. You got when you come in there. It's, it's having like to try the same small heavy. section over and over. But the process seems to be making more myelin in the brain. If you don't feel that kind of frustration, edge, failing and fixing sort of sensation, you're not stressing your skill circuits. What do you see when you see that look? That Clint Eastwood look in a kid's eye. They're leaning into the air. They are experiencing a mistake and fixing that mistake. And that finding and fixing is at the core of the process. And that, that golden second happens right after the air. Mm -hmm. And that's when you'll see them dial in. And even more on the bass. If you really practice something for a long time, you'll find yourself just playing all the notes, just making the sound that you've practiced without having to, to think about it at all. But that's what Coyle argues. The brain is really growing the talent. In fact, we all have that kind of wiring. The things you can build with that wire, the skills you can construct with that wire, are amazing and that's what human resilience is all about that's what human talent is so consider perhaps your kid could have a shot at the big time with a good coach and the right kind of practice and hours and hours of practice it's asking a lot but perhaps it works I'm John Donvan for Nightline in Washington You can never argue the value of practice. Our thanks to John Don.